सो हाई गाइज वी आर बैक विद वन मोर वीडियो ऑफ मेक अ डिफरेंस सो टूडे आई हैव अनिल श्रीनिवासन विद मी ही हैज़ डन इज एम एस फ्राम वर्जीनिया टेक राइट सो कुड यू ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट योर सेल्फ दैट फ्राम वेर डिड यू डिड योर बैचलर्स एंड अबाउट योर मास्टर्स सो आई एम माई बैचलर्स फ्राम अन्ना यूनिवर्सिटी इन चेन्नई आफ्टर दैट आई वेंट ऑन टू डू माई मास्टर्स एट वर्जीनिया टेक इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग Okay. Uh, my research was in control systems, adaptive controls for automotive applications. Okay, great. Yeah. So, uh, see, till now we have taken the interviews of the guys who has done uh, M Tech or MS from IITs or ISCs. So they have given gate. Now, this is something different. Like we are now going international, right? <laughs> so, could you tell me, like, uh, you prepared for GRE? GRE yeah. How did you prepared, and why did you opt for MS from outside, not from India? Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, In my case I did not really think about exactly why I was going to do my MS. Uh I think I decided to do it about 3 months before the application deadline. Uh, a yeah. bunch of my friends were doing it. So I figured I might as well try it because I don't want to work right out of college. Uh so I took the GRE uh, uh I took the TOEFL right after that which is an English test. Uh the GRE is a very straight forward test there's nothing nothing great about it. So what was your preparation mode for gre like for how much time and how you prepared yeah so it took me about anything between 25 days and a month to uh, to prepare for the exam uh, it's nothing compared to the guys who prepare for gate or anything like it's, it's a very simple uh, test on quants uh, which is mostly logical mm -hmm. and then there is some tests uh, a verbal or english test mm -hmm. uh, i think for most indians at least uh, we get the quant part right because we are engineers mm -hmm. uh we already know most of that stuff uh very really struggle is the verbal part of it uh -huh. and i think i spent most of my time preparing for uh, the verbal section of the gre okay so for example now you have done your ms yeah. from outside from us basically like what uh, most of the students go to i will go to us and do my ms something <laughs> like this yeah. so how do you feel like doing mtech from india doing ms from outside what is your perception i'm not sure how much you know about the indian guys yeah. doing mtech but what's your perception Uh, to be honest, uh, I've never really met anyone doing M Tech from India other than this guy and and the guys I work with right now. Uh, it's mostly the guys who've done it abroad. But I can give you a perspective on how it is to do it abroad, right? Uh, so what I've seen in India is the coursework is pretty heavy. Uh, like for example, for my entire master's program, I only had seven courses okay. for the entire two years, right? Okay. So that's maybe two subjects per semester Correct. and one for three for one semester, Correct. right? Uh, so most of the focus was on my research. So my research was for about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh so there was a bigger focus on that than any of my uh, typical coursework okay. at least my perception on india is that it's more equally split uh -huh. in the sense that you have a fair amount of importance for your typical coursework Correct. and also you have a project for a year where you also give some importance to that Correct. right so it's it's more like what is your interest uh, mm -hmm. if if your interest is in doing heavy research i would suggest going abroad because you will be doing a lot of research for uh you know your two years for a research based masters program correct but i think uh, at the end what everything matters to most of the people is job <laughs> and the salary right yeah. uh, i mean like yeah, there are people who want to do good research that is one point but other point is uh, having good job and having good salary sure. so on that front how do you say like uh, if you are done your ms from us definitely will get this much of salary or this company will hire you anything on that yeah um Again I think it depends on the type of company you're working for in India. If it's one of the big companies in India, uh, the big OEMs or uh, at least for mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. they don't care. Uh, if you do it in the US or you do it in India, it's all the same to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think more of the niche uh, companies like uh, like that are working on pretty, you know, a uh, good stuff, mm -hmm. they do care. It does carry some amount of brand value. Mm -hmm. If not brand value, at least the research that you've done for 2 years helped me quite a bit with with some of the better niche companies mm -hmm. in india mm -hmm. i wouldn't call them better it's just that these companies are working on uh, working on things that are mo that require i would say uh, a little more understanding of what you're working on a little more research understanding of what you're working on and how was the placement there at virginia tech i mean like generally how the placement in iits uh, that we yeah. have discussed but how the placement at us uh, colleges yeah so in, in the us there is no concept of placements okay. right so it's not that you you graduate you uh, sit for campus placements and you some company picks you up it's not like that uh, you have to graduate you've got to attend career fairs mm -hmm. interact with companies network mm -hmm. apply for jobs mm -hmm. Uh, so it is going to be a lot harder than in India. You know, a good student student in India is going to sit for placements and get placed most likely okay. uh, in a good college, right? In the US, it's not like that. It doesn't matter how good you are. Luck is going to play a big role just because you've got to apply and network, find the right people, and get okay. that job. Okay. Okay. So then, generally, for example, if some new guy is going to US for getting.
getting a good job what will be your recommendation like he he does not want to get go to good research or something mm-hmm. he is totally going to us just to getting a good job so he yeah. should go to us or he should just do mtech or ms from iit or isc what what is your your take on this i'm mean, like then what is the point of going to us just just a simple straight question yeah uh, i mean i don't think uh, the the general quality of life is different as such after you complete your masters okay. in the us versus in india right uh-huh. uh, so if you complete your masters in the us for example you're going to have a middle class house a middle class family a middle class quality of life there okay. and in india it's similar you do your masters you're not going to become mm-hmm. ambani in a day right okay. you're going to have a middle class life Correct. it's just do what you enjoy right at that point of time mm-hmm. uh, for me i think i think for me uh, the decision should be focused on the kind of work you want to do mm-hmm. it shouldn't be focused on the job you're going to get because at the end of the day i promise you this uh, it is no different mm-hmm. you will be working on something very similar mm-hmm. whether you're there or whether you're here correct, correct. unless you do a phd that changes correct, everything correct, correct. but the masters level you could <laughs> work on something very similar your correct. quality of life will be very similar correct. the most that will get you is you could live there like a beggar and buy a house here okay. <laughs> but, okay, but there's okay, really yeah. nothing more than that correct, in it correct, yeah correct. so and generally how was your two years in us i mean like what about the fun element like did you enjoy it there it was too much of work pressure or you you felt like <laughs> away from home or what yeah. was your feelings yeah uh it it is fun to i mean to put it simply right so it's it's a very different kind of life compared to bachelors uh-huh. like you know it was spending the day all day in the lab coming right. back at night playing right. tennis in the evening right. it's a it's a lifestyle and not just a program that you're studying right. you meet new people you travel pretty much every weekend because you have nothing better to do right. right so it is a lot of fun it's very different from a bachelor's environment in india mm-hmm. you get to see a new country experience a new culture mm-hmm. uh and yeah because you're living with four people with you know a bunch of people in the same house for two two and a half years mm-hmm. you make pretty good friends also and they're okay. friends for life correct, correct, correct. so that's a nice aspect too yeah and uh regarding again going back to gra you said that one month is what you took to prepare so yeah. any special books or any special thing required for this yeah. or what about that that's a good question so uh, gre is different from most tests in the sense that the test is created by a computer correct correct it's yeah. not created by a human being so it's right it's kind of an adaptive test right exactly it's yeah. adaptive yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good information for you because Uh, just because you've done more number of questions it doesn't mean you're going to do well at the test yeah. it's not like that it's you go to yeah, yeah you yeah. you've got to figure out the way the questions are made like right. there are tricks to solving these questions right. and once you figure that out it's super easy you don't need long preparation it's right. just smart preparation but, but generally to figure that out how much time is okay and what what, what should be the strategy to prepare for that like yeah. having mock tests or yeah so the first thing i would do is there is the official gre uh, gre book right, yeah, GRE right. right. Uh, that that is your bible mm-hmm. right uh, i would suggest stick to that mm-hmm. figure that out figure out how the questions are being made and exactly how to answer those questions Correct. once you've done that keep taking tests keep okay. taking tests to improve and and when once you've taken a test don't just take another test right try to figure out what what caused those mistakes why you made those mistakes and try to identify patterns in the questions that you made mistakes in correct and generally yeah. what do you think is a good gre score for getting into good universities and can you name some of the few from us what do you think is a good university yeah uh, i mean so good gre score Uh, so these days it's getting competitive. I would right. suggest if, if if your grades are okay, okay, I would suggest definitely try getting over three twenty. Okay. Uh, if you've got nine point five <laughs> or something like that, three fifteen plus is cool, but definitely not under three fifteen. Okay. Right. Definitely you should try for a grade over three fifteen for a good for a good college. And what masters. about the n- few names about the good colleges? Yeah. So if you're looking to work on uh, controls, dynamics, these kinds of courses, I would say Penn State. Uh-huh. uh university of virginia tech uh university of pennsylvania of course the top guns like stanford mit mm-hmm. uh harvard those places mm-hmm. uh these are pretty good for these courses if you're looking to work on uh more like computer related stuff mechatronics i would say carnegie mellon uh yeah so uh, uh my next question would be uh, what was your strategy in the examination hall when you were giving gre because i think it's uh, definitely time is an important factor right mm-hmm. so if you get stuck to one of the question you yeah. just skip it i i can can you skip in gre no uh, no you cannot you have to answer every question i have to answer right yeah. uh, i mean the thing about the gre is that uh, it's not like if you if you miss one question it's two marks gone like each question does not have the same yeah. value correct yeah yeah so uh, you cannot also qu- you cannot skip a question you have to answer something uh, right if so you don't finish a paper that also it's a negative it, yeah, it, yeah it has a big effect correct, so yeah. you have to answer every question and you have to finish the paper correct uh, so i would suggest you should answer every question you absolutely should uh, even if you don't know the answer uh, to every question you you would always be able to eliminate at least two options out of four it's an mcq test right okay, correct, uh, correct. so once you get You you know you can't decide between any two. It's fifty fifty, right? Just go for one and then keep going ahead. Okay. So, so uh, my uh, next question would be, why did you decide you to come back to India? 
Uh, yeah, so I, I was there for a few months uh, after graduating, about eight months or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, work, I was at the lab. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, I think I really never felt like home <laughs> when I was there. Okay. Uh, right. I think I, I don't think the quality of life was any different. Like I said earlier, uh-huh. uh, I don't believe that. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, and yeah, I, it never felt like home. So I thought I'd rather come back. You know, uh, live here. Correct. So uh, now, uh, did you? feel of going back there for some of for any reason like no i should have been there doing this or you are now fine okay what i'm doing is perfectly fine so oh, i'm perfectly happy like different things are important to different people right yeah. uh, for me uh, this is very important like mm-hmm. being able to do whatever i want right because Correct. this is my place uh, i really like that so for me this really works for some people they prefer to live there get some experience then maybe come back some Correct. people want to settle there for you know for perpetuity Correct. so it really depends on the person for me this works Correct. yeah one more thing i want to add is uh, uh there is also the concept of funding which uh-huh. is research assistantship or teaching assistantship okay. right uh i was funded to be uh, lucky i was lucky that way so i have the opportunity to come back very easily i could just say you know i'm leaving today Correct. uh but that's not the case for most people they've got big loans uh and of course to repay them you have to stay back Correct. Uh, Correct. right so that is something you should be considering actively you are going to take a loan of 30 35 lakhs before going there Correct. Uh, Correct. so that's something to be considering yeah. Correct. now so asking frankly like because of this conversion factor from a uh, dollar to rupee 70 yeah. <laughs> the factor of 70 would not yeah. have been there yeah. do you think people would still go to us but i think this is a major major major, major yeah uh, i think there are people who would go but for most people <laughs> this is the reason they live there very cheaply and uh, they want to buy a house here <laughs> that's the reason yeah okay so so guys yeah that's it i think that's it what i have to share if you want to share something <laughs> something that you experience there yeah so you can share otherwise i think yeah yeah uh, not really man so uh, uh, nothing much to add other than you know go there for the experience uh, the work you will do is great you'll meet some amazing people uh, right you will see a new country experience a new culture and i think that's extremely important for success wherever you are in the world the world is globalized now that's extremely important uh But other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just we have to take care of the financial aspect. Yeah, yeah, of course. It, it's going to be a huge investment on your Correct. side. So Correct. you know, it is possible that you may not get a job. So uh, you remember that 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 shouldn't be the only intention in going. If that's not the only intention, absolutely do it. If the Correct. only intention is getting a job, uh, I don't think today the environment is that conducive for that. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So uh, thanks, guys. Uh, that's all from our side. So uh, keep watching the video. Please do subscribe, and I think please press the bell icon. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you won't have the notification, right? So yeah, thanks, thanks. Keep watching. Bye.